Hi everyone. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. I have uh, come across an issue with uh, running the lib camera utilities on my Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. I wanted to share the uh, problem that I saw with you and also share how I was able to resolve the issue by following uh, some discussions that were happening on the forum. I don't have the legacy camera stack enabled here. I'm running the, um, the new camera stack, the lib camera stack. Uh, so all I'm doing is lib camera dash vid dash T zero. since I don't want it to stop showing the, the, the video as it is configured right now, this command wasn't working on the raspberry Pi zero two W, whereas it was working on the raspberry Pi four. Um, one, immediately I saw an error and then at the end what it would say is terminate it, terminate called after throwing an instance of std runtime error failed to import fd20 and uh, if I look back it also said lib egl warning dri2 failed to authenticate the rest of these messages are um, normal and this this is the issue and it aborts basically it just can't ca I can't display I came across this article on the Raspberry Pi forum you can see the problem looks the same loop camera hello libigl warning dri2 failed to authenticate and then some of these normal messages and then terminate called after throwing an instance of std runtime error in the next response this uh, user jack uh, Findlay uh, posted, and this is fairly new, Tuesday, November 30th, um, 2021. He referred, uh, this uh, user Jack referred uh, to this other topic on the th forum, but here's the response that really helped. The forum addresses the problem, but here is uh, really the resolution. You need to go into advanced options and enable the Glamour graphics uh, function. Now, I'm, if I go to this other topic that's here, it's titled Lib, uh, uh, Lib Camera Apps, Bullseye running on Pi 0 to 3, and they're describing some sort of an issue. And I looked at it, it um, it's, uh, it wasn't immediately clear to me uh, that it's uh, how this is the problem. This is the resolution. But anyways, that seems to be the resolution. I tried it and it worked. So it, on the Raspberry Pi 7, if I give this command, ras sudo raspberry config, uh, and here I go into advanced options. And this is a new option that I hadn't seen before on Buster. Um, so it says Glamour, enable, disable Glamour graphics acceleration. So I say, okay, enter. Would you like to uh, Glamour acceleration enabled? It's by default, no, I guess. And uh, I say yes. And I, it says it's enabled. And I go and say finish. I can say reboot now, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna say no. What I wanted to, the reason I did that is because I wanted to show that this uh, this is how, this is one message that shows up, removed slash etc, system D, system multi-user, target wants, glamour test service. So that's, uh, that's it. So now what I'll do is I'll reboot now. Okay, so uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero to W has rebooted. Here's at the desktop. I've uh, opened a new terminal on it, and now this is with Glamour uh, graphics acceleration enabled. And I'm going to say lib camera vid t zero. And this time the problem doesn't happen. As you can see, the camera is showing the preview. So the Raspberry Pi Two is looking at the re terminal. And uh, here is the re-terminal looking back at 
the Raspberry Pi Zero to W. Here is the Raspberry Pi camera module. There is the Raspberry Pi Zero to W. It's powered from an, from the from the adapter, and I have added this uh, dummy HDMI plug just because um, for some reason the headless resolution isn't working on on Ras on the Raspberry Pi Zero to W under Raspbian 11. This is not working for me at the moment. So I have that HDMI plug in there so that when I open up VNC and look at the desktop, it's in 1080p. If you look at the boot config.txt, you see that the these lines are not enabled. Uh, that means uh, these, these would be needed for the uh, legacy camera stack. So it is running the lib camera camera stack. And uh, just another uh, thing is that this is running the KMS driver. It's not running the FKMS. And um, since I'm not running OpenCV, I don't enable FKMS with the, when, when I run F, uh, OpenCV with the cameras, I have to enable FKMS because otherwise the frames per second drops to about one frame per second versus my target rate of 10. Uh, so with FKMS, uh, it, the drawing of this of the application with OpenCV is a lot faster. Um, and also here, camera auto detect is equal one. So um, that means uh, lip camera uh, stack, not the legacy camera stack. Uh, I hope this information was useful, and uh, hope to see you in another video.